Hello, welcome, I'm Tino and today I would like to explain you how to play with Spain even for experts will have some difficult understanding what's going on in Spain and therefore I would like to give you some tips on how to play for every faction and then we are going to go one faction by faction The first rule is that sí, you cannot disband any unit why? Because if you disband units, you will get weapons in the stockpile and the stockpiles, when the civil war starts, will go to you. So the way that they find to avoid this trick is that you cannot disband units for the, from the army. Also, if you produce weapons, since the army is missing a lot of equipment, it will go directly to the army and therefore you cannot save weapons for you. All you can do is to produce some weapon that is not used by the army right now, like anti-air, and yes, this stockpile will go directly to you, but maybe another choice is to gain experience producing rifles, and when the war starts, at least you have 100% experience producing rifles, I mean the, the efficiency of the factory will be 100%. Those are the main two options you have. In the focus tree, when you start, you should pick nationalist or keeping loyal to the Republic. If you go the Republic, you will have three factions, the anarchists, the communists and the democrats, the republicans, and you will have a revolt within the Republic. And if you choose nationalist, you have two factions, the phalangist and the carlist. The carlists are the monarchists that go with the king and God, and the phalangists are like fascists. You can also go with Franco and Franco will prevent this internal revolt and will keep both sides together. But on the other side, on the republicans, you cannot prevent the anarchist revolt. And this is a perfect normal scenario. We have in the south what remains from, from the Republic. We have in Catalonia the anarchists, we have in the northeast the Carlists, and we have in the north the fascist or phalangists. And that means that if you are going to have a change of government, you are going to lose your ministers, and therefore be careful of spending political power choosing minister. What I do is, for example, if you are going to go Carlist, you should wait before picking ministers to change the government from republic to nationalist. Let me show you. This is your original president, you are, we are republicans right now, and this is the list of ministers that you can pick from. But after the coup d'etat, this will change to, to this. This is the nationalist, and those are the ministers, and in the list you will have Carlist and Palanchist. So, if you are going to keep going with Franco, you can keep both ministers. Also, hap that will happen with the minister of the army. Um, also, with the generals, you can pick generals. As you see, we have generals. They have a. Let me show you here. They have an icon. This means that this general is phalangist. This one is phalangist, and this one is Carlist. Mm, this. This icon is the Carlist icon, so if you go, are planning to go with Franco, it's okay, you can use all the army leaders, all the ministers, but in this scenario I'm going to go Carlist, so I only use the general that have the Carlist icon, and also I can pick ministers that are going to be remaining with the Carlist. Those usually are the non-aligned, and the one that says fascist influence, they will go with the fascists. So be careful when you pick generals and ministers because you may lose them in the future. And a special rule for Spain is that be before the war, no matter if you choose republican or nationalist, you have this kind of mini game that you are going to allow you to control some provinces before the war. For that, you are going to be spending political power. You have this icon here, and after you click this, you will see that all the provinces have three can have three um, stars, and if they have three stars, they will show your side. If they have just one or two, they will have a minor way in your side, a medium way in your side, or 
tree is a full way in s on your side. But on some provinces, you will have control 100% of the time. So make sure to invest only in the provinces that you're not going to control. This may take a time to understand. And also there is a special rule that the first star is very cheap, the second are more expensive, and the third one is the most expensive. And on the other side, for example, to pass from two to three stars, you're going to be spending 30 political power but the enemy will turn this from 3 to 2 with just spending 10 so be careful of spending in the third star also a very important rule if you are going to be playing a scarlet of or anarchist do not spend political power on this save all your political power for later since you're going to be helping just the republicans or the nationalists and you want your political power for yourself no matter if you spend a lot of political power here if you go anarchist you will keep the same provinces they will also give you some special decisions that will give you depending on the faction you choose more production more war support more whatever and this will diminish your stability but since there are special rules here i for the nationalists i recommend going with the assassination the assassination will give you war support and war support is super important because they give you bonus in your core territories and spain is all core and despite it drops down the stability no matter what you do when the civil war starts it will go to zero and then up a little bit so it's a good idea to do this district since you are going to lose the, the stability anyway so it's a way of waste of resources for example glowing improving working conditions or that kind of decision i recommend you save all your political power and take the decisions to increase your war support and now the most important tip if you click all the provinces in spain you will see this icon here that means that the attacks are very ineffective and you can unblock that one province at a time with a special decision that is available here only for the nationalists and for the republicans now i currently so i don't have the decision but that decision will let you unblock new provinces to fight in but what you should do is put in the provinces that you have this icon your militia units you will have militia and you have elite troops and reserve your elite troops for the places where you do not have that icon for example here i do not have that icon here and i should put my elite unit there on defense and the unit the enemy will spend all the resources trying to push there and they will be destroyed take a look here this province has not the icon therefore i put my elite divisions that are the divisions from africa those three and as you can see I'm dealing damage 78, it's night, so let's go for the day. Well, I'm dealing damage over 100, and they are dealing damage only 9, and they will keep attacking there all day long. Here is the same situation, and here. So I put all the leads in the places where the enemy is attacking and i do not have the the penalty and they will run out of manpower and equipment on all the other front i can hold for days using just the despite the it looks red i have just this militia and they will stay there forever forever for years here is the same situation at that weight you are going to be wasting the enemy completely and after that you are going to be able to counter attack and advance and finally in production you should go military factories but if you are super sure of winning the war you can go civilian factories but remember to build them in the province that you are going to keep if you are going anarchist put in catalonia if you are carlist put in burgos if you are fascist you can use this province if you are republican you can go with madrid and so on and now we are going to play with the Carlists. I'm going to upload a full guide on Carlists gameplay. And I will try to conquer France also and unify both kingdoms. And let's see what happens. Hope to see you there. Bye bye.